Did you hear that Indonesia has criminalized sex outside of marriage? They just did that. Interestingly, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but Louisiana has just criminalized sex outside the family. So, wow. I... Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. Unless they consent. <laughs> then. I mean, definitely that, yeah. It's really okay. I because That's who knows you better? Yikes. Today, what are we doing? I don't know, Rick. That's true about Indonesia, though. What is? Sex outside of marriage is now criminalized. It's illegal in Indonesia. Wow, congrats. Yeah. Today we got I video. worked hard on that law. This is uh, uh, somebody, this is uh, from a channel. Her name is Allison and... Anderson. And she, I think, goes camping through Kerala. And so this is oh. a kind of, uh, I've been told, a really beautiful hey, that's video cool. of different side, maybe of parts of Kerala that nice. we haven't seen. So it's kind of a tourism video. Cool. Um, a little bit. So uh, if you haven't, go check her channel out. I don't know her. This is like, the first I've ever seen her. But here we go. Can't believe I'm about to say this, but hello from India. Hello. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Heck of a camera she has, by the way. Don't feed the animals. Wow. I've made it to the beautiful state of Kerala here in India. Thanks to Kerala tourism. No. I was like, that's not where it is. I was going, yeah, I was like, that's not Kerala not up in the north yeah. central region. I'm so excited to be here, and I'm going to be spending the next week traveling through Kerala with a guide. Kerala's a popular oh, I thought you were going to say, okay. traveling through Kerala with a guy. Cool. Congratulations. There's mountains, there's some wildlife. This morning, I'm in the city of Cochin, and we have a bit of a drive ahead of us today. It's going to be at least four hours. Whoa. The okay. Mountains to the town of Manar. And and it looks incredible. Wow. Oh. I'd love to helicopter through there. I'd love to do what she's doing through there. I'd love to fornicate through there as well. Yeah. Wow. It freaking looks like it should be used as a, a location for some fantasy movie. This morning has been exciting. It's been a bit of a rush. I poked my head outside of my tent at like 5.50 a.m. just to check what the weather was doing. It was about 20 minutes before sunrise. I didn't know if it was going to be rained out. And there was a cloud inversion in the mountains this morning. So I threw all my stuff in the bag, sprinted out my door to try oh. and catch oh. the sunrise. It is so beautiful. And Holy shoot. Wow. Mountains. It feels like I'm sitting up in a cloud. There's patches of fog among the the hills and we're staying in these tents that are tucked into the mountainside so it feels so immersive and it's so quiet oh. the next day we headed down the mountain which was one of the most scenic drives of the trip every five minutes i wanted to stop and take pictures and we made which it never do it justice Carrier national park for this is i want to know where the camera is though because like monkeys this is the place for you these guys are everywhere around the boat launch and they're not shy you can sit just a few feet away from them and take pictures and guard your belongings because they will steal them and your loins a boat safari is such a great way to see wildlife because in the park all animals eventually come down to the water to drink. So you have a chance to see everything here. And if you're lucky, you can even spot elephants and tigers in this park. Uh, oh, what a gorgeous bird. I've made it to the Misty Mountain Experience in Pyramidu, which is a beautiful property. They're in the Misty Mountains. In the little cabin-like room with oh. a beautiful balcony I can sit out on. And here I'm going to be learning more about the tea making process. And then this afternoon, I'm going out on a Jeep ride to explore the property some more. So one of the experiences at the Misty Mountain Experience is a tea factory tour. That's so you awesome. can see how it's all made. That and would be amazing. One of the very basic things about tea that I didn't know before this tour is 
is that both black and green tea come from the same plant, and it requires a specific temperature and humidity to thrive, which is what makes this region and property so special. But something else that makes the property incredible is it's perched on a mountainside with water <laughs> running down it. Guests can go on a scenic jeep ride, and the view is so beautiful. Oh my god. Today I've made Goa? it to Alaki oh. and I'm doing one of the coolest things I've ever done traveling. I'm staying on a private houseboat tonight. So it's just me and my guide and this is a, a heck of a trip for her, man. To operate the boat and cook and Sounds keep like cool. running and it oh, is Oh my so goodness. Cool. And it I would so do that. To sit here and drift I would do that. No joke, I would do that. Scenery. It looks uh, that almost looked like Vietnam. Kerala is very Vietnamish. Yeah, with very. all the backwaters and everything. Oh my word! The next day was the champions' boat. Oh, race. good it's for them! Races. This event is an annual series of races. I'm sure that was timed. Yeah, oh yeah. I bet there's a big, lot of tourists there. At that Absolutely. Time. Because of the shape, and it's a big deal. People line the banks of the backwaters for it. Why are there people in the water? What are they doing? I think they're just cheering them on. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> One of the highlights of this day was that one of the families that live on the water invited me into their home for lunch, and they were so kind. It's traditional to eat everything with your hands in India, even rice and sauce. So they were coaching me on how to do it, and I think they Corbin's it favorite part of it to see me try it for the first time. And it was just my such sweetheart a does that experience every dinner for the most part. She's without utensils. Oh, look at that pool. <laughs> It's not the eating with the hands. It's all the sauce on I the fingers. fingers. I know for you, it's the sauce. <laughs> this property that I'm staying at is kind of like if a hotel and an Airbnb That's, were mixed. I'm the only I want this girl's itinerary. Here, so I have the entire <laughs> Seriously. Myself, but there's also staff oh, here. Butterflies. It's like a private stay. It's called Vismaya. And this outdoor shower situation I have is amazing. Outside of my room, I have a little private courtyard with all of the bathroom things. And there's this rain shower. I came out here at like 9 p.m. last night. It was like still 80 degrees. And I stood under this shower and it was perfection. If you've never stayed somewhere with a private outdoor shower like this, you need to add it to your bucket list, but it needs to be somewhere tropical. Yeah. I've stayed at places in the desert with outdoor showers, but it cools off so much at night that like in the early morning or late at night when you would typically take a shower, it's kind of too cold to be pleasant, but when it's tropical and it's still warm. You take showers after morning, some uh, certain uh, other activities. And and absolutely. Morning, so. Or just at least a partial washing. Cold. Yes. Yeah. I'm just having the best time. Next, we drove to a spot nearby for a village experience. I love the backwaters, man. Some local homes and learn a little about their way of life. They showed me how they produce goods like woven palm shades, and I got to see how they fashion ropes, which was really incredible. This That's took awesome. less than a minute to make from a coconut husk, and it's so strong. Wow. That's incredible. I also got to see this really cool ah, coconut tree. Nice. Whoa! And then we headed what to a cool contraption. Beach Resort on the ocean, which is a really beautiful property. They also place a strong emphasis on sustainable tourism, and they have this tea cart where a woman makes what's called meter chai because it's poured from a meter chai. Huh. And she was so good at this. Meter chai, it's nice. especially known for its Ayurvedic medicine center. And of course, the beach, the sunset over the oh. Arabian Sea was incredible. Oh! Arabian Nights. I miss the ocean. Well, this is it for my time in India. I'm back where I started in the city of Cochin. I didn't really know what to expect before coming here. Actually, my guide and I were talking about this. He said a lot of the world, especially Americans, when they think of India, they just mm. think of the Taj Mahal. Exactly. Or else, where in reality, it's actually quite a large country with a lot of other things in it. Diverse. So I'm here with a lot of expectations, which is sometimes the best way to experience a new place. And I loved the scenery. I loved the foggy. How could you not? And the tranquil. The Misty Mountains. If you are planning a visit to Kerala and you're interested in doing a kind of like a road trip through the state like I did, 
my number one tip would be to book a guided tour. About an hour into the tour, I realized there was no way I ever would have been able to navigate it by myself. I'm sure, so yeah. Definitely, if you're planning to come here and move around a lot, I would totally do a tour. Thanks for coming along with me on this one. I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you next time. Fantastic Bye. video. Great, great video. video. I would love to know uh, what kind of camera you use. Yeah, it captured everything beautifully. Gorgeous. She has 664,000 subscribers, so she's obviously she's doing, doing well. Yeah. Um, she doesn't say. Sometimes they have... Yeah, what other places has she gone to? Does um, she have a playlist or anything? Yeah, but man, I, I've said for a while now, Kerala is probably the top of my list for places in India I've want to I've wanna go next. Yeah. Uh, Kerala, just that from everything that we've seen in films and tourism videos, looks... I mean, there's also so many other places that I want to go. Of course. Go. <laughs> Northeast and um, Northwest and more south and Tamil and all that stuff. Kerala is top of my list. Yeah. And I would love to do. How big is hiking culture in India? Good question. I feel like it should be I would really imagine popular, it, but I don't know. Me too. I would think it's popular too, especially in the, the, the regions that are like that, like the mountainous regions, I would think. But I don't know. No no idea. Yeah, me but there's got to be people who would, like, their idea, many people, is to go to Goa and have a beach time. But there's got to be millions who want the opposite and want to go to the mountains and want to do hiking and waterfalls and so, yeah i would yeah. her entire itinerary looked amazing that 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 boat uh hotel thing is something looked i would incredible. a thousand percent do yeah it looks like you could spend a long time just in carol how i wonder how big it is in terms of uh, like a state miles like square yeah, square of, like, miles what state is it comparable to in terms yeah. of size here the, just uh, that's a good question the i don't scope know of it. i do know maps are deceiving they are because especially the ones that we have here because obviously <coughs> there's a whole it's, history behind it like they make our maps certain, are not proportioned right no they make certain things seem much larger and other ones much smaller and they put they put north america at the center of the map yeah yeah so it's uh i never trust it <laughs> no no but, but i do know square miles like uh, i india is like two thirds, this it's it's almost two thirds of America's size. Um, yeah. uh, but I don't know which region would be considered the largest uh, square miles. So, so it's saying what Kerala's fifteen thousand square miles. Fifteen thousand square miles. Uh, Kerala is a fourth, a the fourth the size, size of, Florida. of Florida. Oh, so it's relatively small. Relatively small, but Florida's deceiving because there's a lot of yeah. square mileage it's stretched long. out. It's yeah, long. Yeah, um, but also, yeah, California is massive, huge, and Texas is massive. Alaska, Alaska is, is massive. Those are like if they were their own countries, be <laughs> some of the bigger countries out there. Yeah, um, in terms of just size of the countries they're absolutely massive so yeah that gives me a, a, a little scale though so if it's about the fourth of the size of of florida you could probably get through it but the issue probably why it takes four hours is probably it's back the mountains roads. and the back roads it's not like highway no <laughs> it's it's single lane yeah things rough terrain yeah yeah um but, you look at something and you go oh that's only 10 kilometers away cool uh, an hour later yeah you're going Walking speed. Because if you cross the United States, it would take you, if you did it nonstop. Driving? Yeah, it'd probably a day and a half. No. I think so. No. It, it I've driven it several times with my mom. Not stopping, though. Yeah. Not like, if you drove nonstop from here, it would take you 24 hours to get to Dallas. No, it wouldn't. I've done the drive. I've done the drive from San Antonio. It's a, if you drove straight through from San Antonio... Till it's 23 hours. No, it's... What, going 150? One, the speed limit's 95 from uh, San Antonio yeah, to El Paso. Yeah, what speed are you talking about? It's the speed in from San Antonio to El Paso. Okay. It's 3,000 miles across the United States. If you averaged 80 miles an hour, it would take you 37 hours. It takes about 45 hours or... Eight, if you average six that. eight hours see that's, that's i'm talking straight through it's a six eight hour days no i'm talking straight through i've driven new york to la several times yeah and Slow it poke. takes four to five days maybe if you didn't drive like an old my mom was driving in her another 20s. old 
So. He's even older. Oh, you're out of, have you done the drive? I've driven a lot. You've driven from coast to coast? Not subsequently. The halfway. answer to that question was no, I've politician. From San Antonio, answering this question like a politician. San Antonio to L.A. and San Antonio to Charleston. Have you driven from L.A. Other to side. New York? Or vice versa? If you, if you combine He's a politician. both of them. <laughs> wow. It takes longer than a day and a half. You know what else takes longer than a day and a half? Your mom. It's really frustrating because I try and try, but it always takes her a day and Anyways, a half. Let us know uh, what other videos we can react to uh, and if this did it justice down below.